advice for the water children. Welcome to Eye of Ancestors Kingdom. It's me, your queen, and I am Sankofa in your area. Family, how are you doing? I hope it's all is well with you on your spiritual journey and all is well with your family. So welcome. Um, this morning, when I was uh, in my prayer room meditating, I got this message that I want to share with all the water children, all those who know that they are from the marine world, the marine kingdom. You see, people, there are some rituals that when you are a beginner, when you are not far on your journey, you cannot go to the ocean or go to the rivers or go to the waters to do it alone. You need to go there with someone. Hmm? That's why a lot of people have been doing a lot of rituals, but they don't see any improvement on their spiritual journey. You cannot just get up, carry one or two things, just go to the waters and just go and be doing things when the spirit have not told you to. Who are you? You have reached somewhere on your spiritual journey that you don't even know yourself. You have not aligned yourself. Your name, your spiritual name, does it ring bell when you mention your name? Or when you go to the ocean or when you go to the waters, the spirits don't even know you because you don't really know where you belong. People, when you, you keep on looking for people like me, hmm? a Sangoma or Komfu, a Gobela or whoever to help you to know yourself. The bad ones in there are going to take you for granted. They are going to charge you money and they are going to misuse your finances. And that is not how it's supposed to be. Knowing yourself, it starts with you. You have to take a journey to yourself. Deep within yourself, you know who you are. Like all these programs that you'll be seeing online or that we do, that we try to help you and guide people here on their journey. We help you that the more that you listen, yeah, the program will be talking to your spirit. Many times people used to contact me, Nana, as I listened to your program, this happened. As I was listening to you, this happened. Yes. Because I am in alignment. I am in alignment. I know who I am. I know where I belong. So when I call out, I come out and I use my vibe to attract my tribe. When you hear my voice, you will recognize me in your way. There are people who will be watching me and they will be telling me that it's uh, Nana. So when I watch you, it seems like I've known you for years. Whilst maybe the person I've never even seen me in, her, in his or her life. But it happens, why? Because we are from the same tribe. They are my soul tribe. So when I talk, they hear my voice. It does something with them. So the journey starts with you. For you paying money for someone to tell you who you are. Start from the moment you, 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 you started recognizing things. Let's say from the age of four, five, six, growing up. Get a pen, get a paper, write it down. How was your life? What were the things that you liked doing? What were the things that you were doing that maybe your, your mother or your father used to beat you, shout on you, or all those things? What made you happy? What used to make you happy? Do you like playing in the forest as a child? Were you more in the forest? Were you more at the water side? Do you used to go to swimming? Then your dreams. Which types of dream do you used to have? As children, we all used to have friends, friends that our, our, our parents don't even used to see them. Our guide, some, some of us still remember, we used to see things. Were you such a person or are you such a person? 
that you used to see your guys everywhere that you go. You used to have dream about them. You have to try to recall all those things. And then some rituals that you can do. Some of my videos, someone was telling me that, uh, Nana, uh, uh, show us how to connect with Oshun. Show us how to connect with Mami Water. I have all these things on my video. But I always tell people, learn to know first who you are. Don't be jumping straight into rituals. When you are not strong enough or when you have not reached that level to be doing some ritual, you will go crazy. You will lose your mind. You will be calling on some spirits and some funny spiritual parasites, some funny entities who will reveal themselves to you and you, 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 you will lose it. So everything is step by step. But nowadays, no, nobody wants to learn. Nobody wants to go that from one to two, from two to three. No, people just want to jump. I want to, I want to, uh, um, um, I need a ritual that I can do this one, that I can connect with this. You need to know thyself. There are spirits that, there are things that your spirit like and there are things that your spirit dislike. There are days that your spirit will like to um, and connect with the divine. Then there are days no show. Start with the day that you were born. The date. The actual day in a week. What do you do? Like I'm a Thursday born. Every Thursday I have my rituals that I do. To connect with my higher self. To do things for my spirit, for myself, is very important. It's not always concentrating on the outside, it's inside. That is where the work starts. So we really need to work on ourselves. It is very important, it's very necessary on our spiritual journey. Because there are some things I cannot do for you. It is you. You will make the step. Then we will join together in unity, in oneness. And then that is where the miracle happens. There are a lot of people out there that you tell them things that they cannot do, they will tell that they can do. They will be charging you unnecessary money. And that is why people will be going up and down, insulting, this one is this, this Gobella did this, this Okomfort did this, this priestess did this. We have good and bad everywhere. But you need to know, there are a lot of things you can do it by your own. Then there are some things that we are needed, we have to come in there. Even going to the waters, I said, there are some things that you don't have to do. There are some water works like this now. You don't have to do it alone. And you cannot send someone to, to go and do it for you because your spirits, that, uh, um, your spirits know you more better than they know me. When you go there, yeah, you step in the water and you mention your name. They may know you more than when I go there. They want to have that relationship with you. So I used to tell people for the first time when we are going to the waters, try to get somebody along. But after that, there are some days you can go alone. Depending on the ritual that you are doing and depending how far you are on your journey. But for beginners, I will tell you, don't risk it. That is how people used to go to the ocean. They don't come back home. People used to go to the river. Sometimes when they are going, they will not tell anybody that they are going. They will go. They will not come back home. Even me, there are sometimes when I'm going, I'll take people along. They have to stay on the other side. I have to be on the other side, do my thing and come out because I know the relationship between me and water and how happy the waters are whenever that I'm there. You know that one day they will just take me. People, we, we, we hear the stories, how people just get vanished. So know thyself, work on yourself. The journey starts with you, within, before it comes out. So this is the advice that I got today that I want to share with my water children here. Blessings, Ashe.